So uh, Matt said in a lot of interviews actually that he doesn't like metal or the, the metal imagery per se anymore. Do he you doesn't like metal? The, the metal imagery oh. at all. Uh, um, do you agree or? It just depends what it is. I, a lot of the band's artwork that I've always found interesting, I guess, have always been the outside the box stuff. It's for modern stuff. I think Mastodon okay. always has great yeah. art. They always have really weird stuff and I like that. I like that it's it's different and you know, it's not just what you would expect it to look like. It's, I mean, you know, bands, like a band like Manowar, who has, I think that's like, to me, what like, I guess, classic metal album covers look like. Okay. But it's like, I don't know if that would be doing our music justice by just putting, you know, a bunch yeah. of half naked chicks on the cover <laughs> battling orcs. I mean, it would look, <laughs> it would definitely, it would look cool, but I don't know if like, that's what we're going for. So okay. we're just trying to do something different. Cool. But by no means do I not like that because I, I like Man of War a lot and I love album covers like that but for Trivium I don't know we just we're trying to find our own thing and so would you out. would you still consider Trivium a metal band oh yeah That's definitely I, I don't want to play anything but metal I don't okay. want to don't want to be a pop band I just want to you know grew up listening to Metallica Iron Maiden like in my eyes when we go up on stage that's who in my head I pretend you know were those bands playing to their fans or okay. I don't know just when I get up there it's like I, I envision us being like like that sort of band I don't want to be anything else because I think metal shows and metal audiences are by far the best okay. wouldn't get that rush playing country music <laughs> I wouldn't at least <laughs> <laughs> okay so, so since the beginning of your career you had the reputation of being a driven, a hardworking band, mm -hmm. deservingly, of course. So, um, honestly, what what do you think? What level can you reach with Trivium Ooh. with this record now? Oh, it's How, it's hard to. I guess it's hard to say exactly. I think realistically, I think our goal is to. I mean, obviously, the the easy answer would be say as big as big as possible. But yeah. I mean, really, it's the way I kind of look at it, like, I guess here in Europe, you know, you look at festivals and if you want to like have like a benchmark of how your band's doing, it's how much further up on the bills you kind of yeah, go. Yeah. And, you know, we're de definitely a band that's becoming more of a legitimate main stage band here in Europe. And our goal is to just move our way up the slots, you know, but the only way you can really do that is by touring really really hardcore and hitting the ground you know you can have a hit single um you could be on tv but that's not necessarily a lasting thing so you have to okay. tour really hard and that's our goal is just to move our way up on those bills and do you have some some limit or so where you would say that your content now you can you could live content that. oh um i don't know man i'm never really never really content with just settling for where we're at i think I I've definitely have a perfectionist mindset and it can be, you know, we're all really like that. We're really hard on our own playing and our shows. So you have to always want to strive for something more. Cause then when you get to that point where you're like, I'm all right with where I'm at, you know, I could live a decent living and I'm comfortable. I don't know. You, maybe you don't want to play music anymore. Cause I feel like your albums won't be, I don't know that you won't be striving to really make that great album. Cause I always feel like, in the back of my mind after we do an album especially with this one i really love it but i'm always like man how could i get it to that next level how could i write a better riff than this one and okay. how can we outdo it and i'm never i'll probably never be content but i think that's sort of the thing you have to be if you're if you want to really make a great album be a great band you have to just never settle for anything but being better than your previous cool. album and previous tour oh I'm looking forward to see you topping in ways. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. Well, we're starting, nice, starting to nice. collect the ideas and the riffs now. So we'll see where we go. Cool. So you uploaded a bunch of videos from your live shows during the summer. Mm -hmm. And what's what's really cool is, in in my opinion, is that one can see your your excitement before going on stage. Oh yeah, for we example, love it. like at Wacken and stuff. Yeah. And what I'm thinking is, when you're playing a regular show, like regular crowd, yeah, regular city, nothing special really. Um, are you just as excited as at those Wacken shows and stuff? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it's not necessarily like the big crowd that is the excitement. It's just that, I don't know, playing a show, it's it's fun. And you know that people came to have a good time. And 
that's what it's all about. It's that rush right before you go out and you know that it's going to be awesome. Whether it's 60,000 people, whether it's 600 people or anything in between, you just, you know that people want to have a good time at a show and we get that same rush before each one. And when the intro kicks in, you, you sort of like get that anticipation, like this is going to be awesome. Cool. You know, Cause people don't get to do what we do every night. So you have to make it the best time for them because they're only going to see you maybe once in a year, twice if they're lucky, if they come to a festival or something else. Yeah. Okay. So, um, doing research for this interview, I watched quite a few interviews from the summer, mm -hmm. um, from Mayhem Tour and stuff, and a lot of your answers were more or less exactly the same. So I'm wondering, <laughs> do you, before talking to any press or media for, for that matter, do you think about possible questions and how you're gonna react? Because uh, it seems like you really know how well, to deal I mean, with media and stuff. I don't know, I just, I guess, you get asked a question that's kind of similar, I usually think the same thing, so I, I don't I don't ever plan going into it, like, oh, this is exactly what I need to say, or there's no script. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really plan, I guess we've been doing interviews so long that okay. kind of got comfortable doing them, and okay. I guess, say similar things. <laughs> <laughs> you got a question that's something, something crazy off the wall, and it might answer different. I got some, my, my last question is pretty, pretty all rad. Right. So all right, here we go. It's, it's tough though. So all right, we'll give it a shot, I guess. So I it might stump me. <laughs> so I watched The uh, Lost Highway by David Lynch yes. recently. And there's a scene where the track Rammstein from the band Rammstein is being played. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking if you could choose one of your songs being the main yeah. song and the main theme maybe in one of David Lynch's movies or whatever movie, <laughs> what would it be? Ooh, that's a good one. Have, have you seen the inter uh, interviews with Matt talking about like yeah. David Lynch? And yeah, stuff? but I'm a fan myself, so yeah, I'm yeah. a fan for that. Um, hmm. Actually, you know what? I guess a song that was influenced, uh, I know Matt with, with some lyrics and some visuals was really influenced by that newer Lars von Trier movie, uh, yeah, Antichrist. Antichrist yeah, that's I've a, seen that. That's once. a weird ass movie. And the song Chaos Reigns was okay. very, very influenced with just the whole vibe of that movie it was just very sick it was yeah it was sick it made you feel bad it wasn't like a horror movie in the normal horror movie sense but yeah. i think if that song could be the theme for that movie because it was influenced that would be really killer nice so maybe someone can get on youtube and cut up a video <laughs> from the movie to chaos reigns that would be that awesome would be cool okay paula thank you very much for thank talking you very to much us. man That's awesome thank you for the cool question at the end it was unique. No biggie. <laughs> Did it. <laughs>